Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. We are continuing my review on my collection of La Taffa. This one is not an unboxing, unboxing because I've already unboxed it and I don't know where the box is gone, but this is what you'll have to put up with. <laughs> Today we are reviewing one of my favorite La Taffa uh, perfumes and the first one I purchased from them and that made me think wow these guys know what they are doing it is Qaid by La Taffa so I think we said Qaid or Aid I don't know depends where you're from and that means like boss <laughs> I think it means boss, but if I'm wrong, please correct me. My Arabic is not up to standards at some points, and I think maybe I'm wrong. I hope not. But yes, that's what I, I think it means. The box is like a kind of full leather um, material, and it also has the little, um, you know, logo of La Tafa that if you move, it shows that... This is the authentic La Taffa. You're not purchasing anything else. So I am very calm knowing that. Even though I don't know who would do that for a, like who would tweak it and make a, like a dupe out of this because it's like $20. <laughs> it's so affordable that you would not even like, well, you'd never know, get a knockoff of it. Anyway, as we open it, it's um, velvet kind of inside and it looks as such. It's a very bougie fragrance. Like the look of it, I am not so keen. I like more low key and very classic and timeless designs. But this is what they do in the Emirates. This is what it is. They have to make the look of the fragrance more appear like appealing to their public so that's what they like i'm not gonna say anything because i really like the stuff inside of the bottle so let's just take it off that because it also like yeah it comes off and this is what it looks in my previous fragrance i think i bought it twice already like this is my third bottle i removed this and I, I like the whole cover of this and it's just a more simple kind of fragrance. Um, I'm not sure you're supposed to do that, but anyway, who cares? It's still like, I, I love it, whatever. The cap, the lid is plasticky. It's not very well crafted, but we are paying for the liquid or, or not. I don't know. La Taffa logo there. And we are going to give it a spray. The exit is bergamot. It's also carnation. It's um, sandalwood is a bit of, there's a lot of scents in it. But what you really, really, really can smell in this fragrance and the best introduction to oud is this. Basically, you can smell oud very much on this fragrance. And it's a very easy to wear oud because like I said, it's got all the elements and it's got cinnamon, it's got cardamom, carnation, saffron. There's a lot going on there. It's quite citrusy as well, the exit. And it's not so heavy, like for example, Ruat Al Oud, which I will review as well. And it's, it's easier to wear. Both feminine, masculine, it, I think it, leans a little bit more on the masculine side because of the oud sometimes can be more masculine smelling in this case i think it retails as unisex but yeah i i love it this i feel like a million bucks when i'm wearing it and i will continue purchasing la taffa kaid by la taffa um also one thing I almost forgot to say, this is quite leathery and I think it's very well done that they did a kind of leather, you know, um, packaging to it because it's quite leathery and it's quite, I think leather always gives it that, you know, presence to fragrances and that animalic kind of scent. Um, I think 
I think that's it. I don't know if there's anything else I can think of right now. I would wear this at night, um, maybe on winter. I would wear this, what am I saying at night? I wear this all the time come winter because I really like the scent and the subtlety of oud and how this is made. So Latafa, you're doing a great job, keep going. I'm gonna purchase Kaid for my whole life. Um, I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next one.